Hey guys, this is AMAC, continuing on in part 24, I believe. Um, so just an update. Uh, so in between this last part and this one, um, I just finished. I ran back to the Zerka guys um, just to buy uh, some med packs because I was out. Um, actually, that's all I bought. Um, oh, no, actually, I also bought... Where is it? Oh, it shows up. But I bought a battle stim stimulant. They had one that was actually pretty cool. Um, it basically maxes out your vitality and ups your damage and attack, which was odd to me that those were two separate uh, stats. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so yeah, we're continuing on. Not gonna lie, uh, my my last part was filmed like four or five days ago, which is lame. But I ran into a lot of issues. Not specifically with this game, but just issues with um, Which is really lame because actually it messed up my whole timetable for recording. So, the good news is for you guys is that um, most likely all of the rest of the series of this game will be filmed within the. at pretty much all of today. Well, today, my time. Um, because I'm running out of time to record this. Um, the bad part of that, though, is that means I won't be able to record the the second game directly after. So I'm gonna have to hope, and I am not <laughs> I'm not confident in it. But I'm gonna have to hope that I can get the second one working on my computer. I haven't tested it, but I imagine it'll have the same issues that this one had. Maybe not, though. Damnable racket of battle. Watch yourself. Even more of these crawling beasts are hiding in the underbrush. I'm Jolie. Jolie, Jolie ben Bendo. Follow me to my camp and we'll talk. I, w I considered using him as my teammate. Ah, don't start fighting just yet. I'm too old for it. Uh, I, I know these things, but All right, Yoda. we can talk about it at my camp. Keep close. Nearby, Meeting him like this always reminded me yeah, of I seeing Yoda uh, on Dagobah. I fought the Sith. Now look at me. <laughs> like very similar. The only difference is he doesn't die. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Haven't seen. What is it? Episode two. Well, no. Episode five, technically. That time stuff with the movies always throws me off. I'm sure I'm not the only one, but it's hard. Bow, bow, bum, bow, bow, bow. Well, welcome to my home, such as it is. It's pretty nice Pull home, to consider. Be comfortable. We should discuss a few things. It's actually kind of impressive. Don't coddle me, child. I'm neither a Jedi the nor The reason your I master. I'm just an old man considering using him lost in the is he's um far too long. My days of he's glory are behind a neutral me. Jedi. Perhaps there is something I can do for you. Like he's kind of lost his way along the Jedi path, but he's not dark side. He's just kind of sitting in the middle. Um. Uh, what is there to tell? Jolie, I follow the Jedi way and I command the Force. Yes. I suppose that makes me as much a Jedi as anyone, but what of it? Why should being what I am compel me to entertain others with tales of the good old days? Ah, I've seen my share of the dark and the light. Frankly, both extremes annoy me. Of course, I have felt rumblings. Of I will. Perhaps you will be of some assistance to me after all. Let us discuss. I will probably you. use him on Manon a little bit, only because if I remember right, and I've never done it before, I'm pretty sure there's a mission specific to his story there. And I'd be curious to do it because I've never done it before. There's a lot on Manon I haven't done. Um, actually, I was thinking about it in between parts. Like I said, <laughs> I had plenty of time. Um, but oh, let me continue the conversation. Uh, it makes you think I may have the taint of the dark side in me, doesn't it? <laughs> Ooh, is that what you're wondering? Well, I Oops, assure you, I, mean I see more gray than dark or light. I'm just a stubborn old man. Tired of um, the foolishness of others. But I was thinking about in between parts. I love HK47 a lot, but I might switch him out for the rest of the game. Not quite sure with who. I might just bring in like a, a, a variety of different people. Just because I realized that 
he's one of the only companions. I don't know about the other little robot guy, um, but he's one of the only companions that doesn't really have a story that goes with him. Like his story is if you have repair, um, you can keep removing some of his memory things and some memories, if I remember right, come back to him. So that kind of like, it is interesting, it's worth doing, but I've done that before. I thought that really mattered. Well, actually, I won't be able to do that within this because I don't have a repair skill. So I'm not going to be able to do that anyways. Um, so I think it might be better for story situations if I bring in some of the other people so I can do some uh, of their personal missions, potentially. Although it's kind of late in the game to do that. So his, he actually fits that. Um, uh, okay, fine. Yes, among the Wookiees, intriguing creatures. I like that they have little but, um, for bureaucrats. So I'll probably use him at least for Manon. Hidden things that manipulate. Honestly, actually, now that I think about it, it's way too late for the other people because after this mission, some other stuff kicks off. So I don't know that we'll have time to do anything. Although I guess, granted, I can swap out him right now. Okay, let me get through this thing real quick, actually. It's a very unfortunate matter. Uh, you will end in shame. I've witnessed a number of happening. I wasn't aware I had to be. <laughs> Look, events like these reveal much about the people involved. I'm well past that introspective tripe. I'm not saying that outside help isn't needed. I, I didn't want to make it. I like that word tripe, I but I could not tell you for the life of me what it means. About that momentarily. Actually, I'm going to Google it. I'm curious. One sec. Google time. Google. Tripe. Dev. <laughs> tripe the first or second one <laughs> all right there's two definitions and the first one's probably not what he used it for but the first definition is the first or second stomach of a cow or other ooh, or other ruminant 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 it's not ruminant which is interesting it's ruminant used as food interesting um today i learned cows have two stomachs didn't know that actually two Nonsense rubbish. Oh, I like that. Ooh. Now, one second. I gotta look up ruminant. Rum, ruminant. Ruminant. And even. <laughs> okay, the first definition keeps cracking me because it's different. An even toed ungulate mammal that chews the cud regurgitated from its rumen. That sentence blew my mind. I don't know that I could tell you, using context clues even, what the crap that means. An even-toed, undulate mammal that chews the cud regurgitated from its rumen. <laughs> the ruminants comprise the cattle, sheep, antelopes, deer, giraffes, and their relatives. Interesting. I could not tell you. What, what, is, what is an undulate? What is, why does even-toed matter? And what is cud? And what is rumen? <laughs> okay, second definition. Maybe that'll maybe that'll lighten things up for us. A contemplative person, a person given to oh, a person given to meditation. Interesting. So Jedi are are ruminants. That's interesting. Okay. Hmm. Today I learned. Um. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm real big on Google. Well, not specifically Google. The act of Googling. Um. We'll talk of that more in a moment. Circle, will you work for him or against him? Okay, sorry, so I gotta. Um, that's too much talk. Oh, please. What you? Oh my God. Please. Oh, please. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Uh, too much talk gives me. Uh. I don't know. But, actually, so, speaking of Google, so I actually have no problem with it. I know there's some people that get into all of the, like, potential politics with Mal it or have punch. some... What? When he gets back, we'll... Wait, I'm getting something. Oh, good, it's Eli. Oh, Maybe Eli. Right I only know this because I just went to the store. Eli, what are you... You got your money, you double-crossing snake. We Eli was that store owner that um, had uh, the indentured servant guy who owed him money. Playback. I don't get it. That merchant said there was salvage down here. We need Matten to work the sensors. Playback. When he gets back, we'll... Wait, I'm getting something. Oh good, it's Eli. Maybe he'll point us in the right direction. Playback. 
Eli, what are you... You got your money, you double-crossing snake. We had a deal. Shutting down. Uh-oh. I wonder if that happened because I don't have a, a repair skill. Um, but anyways, so... I'm not specifically tied to Google. Um, so, for a long time, I was actually jumping between search engines, like some really unique ones. Screw Bing, by the way. If you use Bing, cool, I guess. But I, I hate it with a passion, actually. I tried to use it before, and it's just like... It's weird. Um, but there was one I found that was pretty interesting for a while. I was using called DuckDuckGo. Um that its whole premise and I, I didn't I don't really care about these things but it was kind of interesting that they don't do the um, what's it called they don't track your cookies or whatever it's called where or they don't save cookies where basically it doesn't like it doesn't like follow you around like whenever you search things it doesn't track that so that it doesn't like um, use that information to like tailor ads towards you and it doesn't like I don't know and that stuff, like I said, it don't, it doesn't really bother me. Um, but I was using that for a while, and that was kind of interesting. But that one was pretty good because, I mean, it was, I mean, it wasn't really different actually, besides the fact that it was So that was cool, but it, it, I didn't really use it very much. One that I liked a lot more, and used it way longer, was um, called Ecosia, Ecosia, something like that. And basically, it actually piggybacks off of, I think, I think it piggybacks off of Google's actual um, search engine. So it uses like similar search functions, so it's almost as good. But then um, their whole premise is every time you search, it's like every 40 things you search, they plant a tree, um, which I found really cool, you know, like, because uh, I searched like crazy, so as long as you know, it's good, I can handle it. But it, just, it hit a point where it was causing, it was just too much of an annoyance to use other search engines. So the problem I ran into is just, at the end of the day, like, no matter how you feel about it, I, I just found that, like, you can't get away from Google. Like, I, I can use those other ones, and they're they're good enough, but there's just two functions of Google specifically that, like, I, I just beat the others, you know? That's why they're the top one. Because, um, like, there was a lot of just, um, especially because, obviously, I use YouTube a lot. I've been on YouTube forever. Um, I, yeah, since it came out, I, yeah. Uh... And, um, but then when Google bought it, now, um, like, it's so interconnected that it's, like, it's just even better. And then I have a Gmail account, so it's, like, it all's just so interwoven. Um, not saying it's perfect. Obviously, there's tons of ridiculous issues, um, and annoyances there. But I like when things are interconnected like that because it, it just, it creates a cool situation, usually. Um... So that's why I ended up kind of coming back to it. But I did um, really like Ecosia for the premise of it. And I think by the time I ended it, I had like, I think, because it, it actually, something else I really liked about it, since every 40, tr every 40 searches or something like that, it plants a tree, it tracks how many searches you do. Um, so I think by the end of it, I had like three or 4,000 uh, searches. And I hadn't used it that like too long so that was kind of funny to see because um, I search everything every time something like as you guys just saw every time something like a word I don't know or like um, just I get weird questions uh, I google like crazy and big googler um, that's it for this area oh man I just like freaked out since it's been a couple days I can't remember what the quick save button is Hold on, I'm pretty sure it's F4, but I know that it... I, I can't remember if it's F4 or F5, and I know the other one, whichever the other one is. Uh, where's the controls? I know whichever the other one... What? Did I miss it? Where's the control? Gameplay? Oh, okay. Oops. Um. Do, 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 do. Yeah, see? Okay. F4. That's what I was pretty sure. Um... Okay, but um, yeah. So I'm a big Googler. Googler. Um, I've also I can't remember their names anymore. There was a couple other search engines that I found were just overall tripe. You know, uh, <laughs> I don't feel like I used that right, but it, it, it was rubbish. You know, basically, 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 basically. Um, 
Nice, nice. I always liked the concept of this planet, Kashyyyk. Uh, or Kashyyyk, or however they pronounce it. I don't care how they pronounce it. I like it. But you know, that way. Um, because, uh, the premise of it always... I loved it. I love this premise in every every fantasy world, or sci-fi world, whatever you want to call it, that has a similar setting to uh, Kashyyyk is something I love. Like, for instance... So basically what I'm describing is a planet where... There's, uh, or not planet, but an area where there's like super tall trees, and then the the local life forms, whatever they are, uh, live up in the trees in some sort of like, um, uh, what do you want to call it, uh, like treehouse kind of situations, and then the ground floor, for whatever reason, is dangerous. Now, that actually also kind of um, works for, uh, uh, oh my god, I can't believe I'm blanking on the name of this, this is actually like, ruins my claim as a Star Wars fan, but... Uh, Oh, uh, no, not Onderon. Uh, indoor. The bat indoor. Um, where the, uh, the Ewoks are. Um, because they live up in, like, a treehouse setting very similar to Kashi. Um, and, uh, although I guess technically speaking, Kashi is very similar to, uh, to Indoor. Because, uh, that was created first, technically. Um, but... But then in Elder Scrolls, there's something similar in it, and it's one of the the areas I would love to get to see. Like I didn't, pl uh, so okay, let me back up. So, um, uh, what's it called Valen Wood, I believe, is the area. If I remember right. Um, it's the Wood Elf uh, people's area. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've looked into this as much as I wanted to. Um, but. Uh, so my hope, and I, I know that there's been some speculation that the next Elder Scrolls game is going to be, um, man, I'm, it's the Red Guard place, uh, Hammerfell, Hammerfell, Hammerfall, Hammerfall, I don't remember, one of those, um, and that honestly kind of bums me out, I have hope, if that is what they're doing, I have hoped that that will be good, because I, you know, I just gotta, gotta believe that, because I love the Elder Scrolls series, um, but, Hold on, I gotta see. I gotta see. I gotta. Uh, well, I did see. It, but I gotta heal. Um, before I talk to this guy, I wanna finish this thought. Um, but I just gotta believe that. Um, uh, they'll do it well. But my problem with uh, Hammerfell is, and it might be why they're doing it. If they do do it, they haven't really created any cool stories about it. Like they've talked about it very rarely. I feel like throughout the games I've played, at least like you know whatever. Um, and what they have talked about, it, it hasn't really. It, I don't know. It doesn't sound you very like. Civil merchant like that cool. Comparing. I don't know. I, this is my territory. I don't know. I don't know. But Valenwood, if that is what it's called, so I can't remember. Pretty sure. It's very similar where they live up in the trees. I'm with Zerk. As long as you don't get in my way, you can wander where you want. I could use an X-ray. We are hunting the little simians. The tank. I figure I've got two or three wealthy years to butcher the lot of them. You want in before I make them extinct? I really don't the price. Depends on the market. I give fair value for... All right, then, I'll set you up. First, you need to be able to unscrew this scent. It drives them crazy. Then you just carve them up. There's a big... I'd feel guilty if the money weren't so good. Come back. Okay. Cool. I'll kill some tax for a bit. Um, give me some money on that. I don't know why I saved again. But, but yeah, um... Uh... Yeah, Bellinwood always sounded cool though because yeah, it's um it's up in the trees, very beautiful area, like beautiful forest. Like this is a little more dark and like almost swamp feeling, even though it's not really swamp. I don't know how to describe it. It's like just I don't know, different feeling. But then um based on what I remember from Bellinwood, it's a lot prettier. It's incredibly dangerous on the floor thing. I believe it's it's not swampy, it's something else. Um but oh I forgot I'm supposed to be looting these fools. Um but um, another one is the Black Marsh. That's my second one I'd like them to do because the Argonians have a very interesting um, like 
social stru structure that's like I'd really love to experience more. Plus, they're like the true assassins. Um, so like they, uh, like, cause I usually one of my favorite things, and whenever I get around to doing my Skyrim series, which should be soon, um, I I will probably start off doing like um, assassin stuff, like Dark Brotherhood stuff, ish, like early on, because I absolutely love that. That's one of my favorite things in every Elder Scrolls game is doing stealthy assassin stuff. Um, it's just fun for some reason. Um, did I not loot this guy again? I keep like killing him. Uh, let's just keep it. Um, but uh, but I mean, regardless, I'll be happy with the game. I'm sure they'll do it well. Um, and it probably is Hammerfell because I I know I've seen some other stuff where they showed some some of the the tech design behind their new game and all of the landscape they were showing wouldn't make sense for any other game but Hammerfell, pretty much. So unless it's just an area that we don't know enough about, um, it's most likely Hammerfell. But, I don't know. I can hope. <laughs> I do know that Elder Scrolls Online has touched on all of the areas I really want to see, like elsewhere. Elsewhere's the new one, I think, that just came out. Um, but I haven't been able to get into the online game in the past, mostly because most MMOs are hard for me to get into. Actually, that being said, uh, over the last couple of days since I was having problems with this this game a little bit um, and then just recording in general because there's been some a lot of technical issues um, I would I actually brought my computer from home over here and uh, and then was playing um, uh, Star Wars the Old Republic online with uh, my brother and dad uh, and that was a lot of fun because I I have I bought that game when it first came out I pre-ordered it pre-ordered it actually um but i've probably put about like 15 hours into it total like just because um uh i've never had a computer good enough to play it um like it just it's always sucked <laughs> like the computers i had i might go turn in this tack thing I, I mean i'm sure there's more i can hunt down but i don't know that it's going to pay enough for me to do that so i'm going to turn it in and then i'm going to take care of these poachers um um, but then, uh, I was having a lot of fun playing the Old Republic, so I'm probably going to be doing that a lot, uh, soon. I was also thinking about it, and don't take this as too real, because it probably won't happen, just because there's too many potential issues, and there's a lot to it. I considered doing a video series you in the Old Republic. Um, oh, I'm I don't know. Wondering! I decided just to kill them all. Um, there's a way where you can just persuade each of these guys to leave and you can't win. Actually, I want to do that. That's fun, I think. Well, I should have thought it out before I started acting, but... Oh my god. No freaking way. Did I just... God dang it. 53... 56... Oh. Oh no, I left the game on when I was having all those issues. Whoops. Well, this makes it look like I've been playing a lot more. That's interesting. Crap, did I really just undo... I hate... So much. Man, I hope you guys really liked kill, uh, watching me kill these attacks, because you get to see it again. I'm just going to kill a couple of them, and then I'll... I actually totally forgot to. I didn't turn in the attacks before I started killing them, so... This actually probably works out anyways. Kill these wolves. Wait, I need to start saving more. I suck. Um, but yeah, I thought about doing a series in the Old Republic, because I actually... I've been looking for a game to play. I'm gonna run up here, kill these guys, and then I'll go back and turn them in. Or loot them all and then turn them in. But I've been looking for a game to play, because I've hit a point with this YouTube thing where, and it's not a bad thing, but it is what it is, where every time I get excited about playing a game or think about playing a game, it becomes, oh, I should record that rather than just playing it. Um, so I wanted to find a game that I could just play without needing to work. Well, actually, I just realized that I now just said the game that I found that I was going to just play. I'm talking about recording. <laughs> um, that's funny, actually. Uh... <laughs> 
But um, but yeah, I, I do think it'd be kind of fun to record that game. But it, it also works for the game I was talking about anyways, because there's a lot I, I've always wanted to do in that game, just never had time, never had a good enough computer. So I plan to do a lot in that game, just on my own. Um, but then I, I, I think it would be fun to do some sort of series in it. But I, I don't know. I don't know how I would do that in like a way that would actually work, honestly. Back again, huh? I'll take whatever you have. Keep it up and we'll... Good. Oh, God. Yeah, that's not worth... Uh, wait. Wow. That's not worth my time. Okay. You want anything, you'll have to... T Why am I here? I'm just a guard for this... In I'm not here because I know stuff. <laughs> no more dangerous than walking out on the... I... I... What? I'll make an example of you. Oh wow. What do you want? I'm just gonna get them all to die. I'm not... Don't you now leave me alone. Maybe you're right. Hmm. That trick would never work on a mandible. I'll make an ex What do you want? I'm don't now leave maybe you <laughs> By the way, I only have to no actually I do have to get rid of all of them, I think, but this isn't actually how it usually goes, which is kind of funny. Because usually I don't do Force Persuade. Like, I don't usually have it. Um, and usually I play good in the past. Um, so there's other ways around it. that's just great. I don't have the men to... I'll be back, though. Wait. There's money here. Oh. Yeah, that that's never happened before. That actually... I don't know if I like that or not. Because usually you do this. Wait. That's weird. Yeah, I've never had that happen before. Because usually you just... I think if you take out enough of these signals, I don't know how much is enough, um, the base gets, like, ambushed by a big creature that, like, runs them off. Huh. Interesting. Um, any the way... I, I don't know how that happened anyways. Um... Um, but yeah, so I, I might look into that more. That, if I do do it, won't be for a while, though. There's too many other things on my mind that I want to play first uh, for recording purposes. Um, especially because I had so many... Okay, let me get into the technical issues I've been having a little bit more. Because I'm... It sucked, uh, honestly. Like, I, I was actually really bummed about it because it's been in every category. So let me start with Game of Thrones. The Game of Thrones series that may or may not be out by the time you're seeing this. I don't know on a lot of things, but I actually recorded the first three episodes at my house, um, and then I came here and recorded the next two parts here at this house, and then I started recording the last part of the series, episode six, and um, I was about... so. This weird thing when you record on the PlayStation, they only have a limiter. They have a limiter of an hour if you record using the PlayStation itself instead of like an Elgato or something like that. And um, when so they have a limiter of an hour. Those episodes are usually like almost two hours, sometimes longer, or whatever. So usually the first recording will end, and then I start another one. Well, I have the first recording, which was an hour, and then I started the second one. Well, literally like 45 minutes minutes into the second part I was nearing the end I'm pretty sure um, and it, I got kicked out of the game and something that's never happened to me on PlayStation it started telling me I didn't own the game and it locked me out of it and I was like oh okay I have heard of this though so you can go into the um, the settings and recover like it basically rechecks all the games you own and re gives you access to that game because it realizes you own it well that wasn't working. Like, it wouldn't even let me do it. So I was like, that's weird. So I started looking into more stuff and found that the internet on my on the PlayStation was being weird, too. So I started messing with the internet stuff, and none of that was working either. So I, I just kept looking into more and more things, and nothing made sense. Like, there was issues that shouldn't have been happening. Like, it was saying I was having internet problems when the internet was fine. Um, and I kept retesting it and everything. And then... Um, I started looking at the PlayStation Network because there's a website that tells you if the PlayStation Network's down, and it said the PlayStation Network is technically up, but 
there's a local issue that's affecting you. It wouldn't tell me anything more, and that's all it said. Well, so that's why I haven't played for the... Uh, I haven't even finished that part yet. I have to... Because basically, since it booted me out, it canceled my recording, so that whole 45 minutes is gone. So basically, today, most likely, if I get a chance, um, I'm going to have to go figure out where I left off on the first recording, and then go back to that point and start re-recording that part, um, and just go from there. Um, which sucks a lot, but it is what it is. Um, so I have to do that today, because now it's finally working. I finally got the PlayStation back up and running. Still have no idea what happened with it. And then this, um, I've been having endless problems with this computer. Actually, it, so many problems that I actually miss my computer setup. I miss my problems I was having. <laughs> because, I mean, granted, this allows me to play, um, but there's so little recording space on this system that I there's nothing I can do about it and since it's not my computer I can't just go willy-nilly deleting stuff like I usually would um, so that's a problem <laughs> but another problem is the, the thing that made the most sense and I still haven't done it is is to just delete my previous video basically upload them and then delete them I hate that it's what I'm gonna have to do but I hate it I usually keep all of like I have all of my videos I've ever recorded they're all on my computer and that's what I plan to do with this, but it doesn't appear like there's going to be a way. Um, I, I got lucky and my cousin let me delete one of his games, which gave me enough space to uh, record these parts, so I can hopefully finish the series out with that, but um, it all, yeah, it's, it's irritating, but I'm most likely going to have to lose those videos, um, at least the, the files, which sucks, but it is what it is. Um, let me talk to him real quick. Welcome back! I wonder... Yes, I heard the fuss of it. I told you I Zerker Corporation will find the bodies and blame the Wookiees. This may cause more troops to be deployed. That means more disruption. I'm not pleased. But what's done is done. I'm not here to judge you. Hopefully you'll take care of that yourself. I see. You are completely detached. Are you sure you're not a droid? It doesn't matter. A trivial thing like this is no measure of anyone. Yes, of course. Let's get moving. I noticed the old path some time ago. You probably wouldn't have found them on your own. There's also a Zerka repulsor field blocking the way, past the poacher camp in the east. I saw it when it was installed, so I know how to pass it. And on the other side, ancient answers. And perhaps a Wookiee you were seeking. I hope he's in the mood for visitors. Okay, so now he's in my party, and then we'll bring Kandorus. What his stats look like? Mm -hmm. Probably trash. Oh, he has more dark side. <clears throat> Man, my voice like gave up on working for a second there. Great, he has tons of awareness for some reason. I don't know why. Powers. Okay. So. I'm glad he has heal. When he, when he hits level 12, I'll get second heal, because that's extremely useful. Let's give him lightning, too. We can double up on that lightning goodness. Oh, god. Level 9. Do, 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 what do I, how do I want him to play? It's Master Duel, oh, get that, faux show. Oh, I got a second, do 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 actually. What is that song? I can never remember what that's from, actually. Giving some intelligente points because, yeah, that'll boost up my stats faster. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's do heal, that'll be real useful. Yeah, hopefully, if 
if I if I end up liking him, which I kind of hope I do, um, then I I might use him because I would like to have a Jedi. I actually was thinking about that too. I I know that there's a Jedi later. I might end up getting just because uh, circumstances make that character cool. Well, not cool, but might be cool. I haven't really messed with it too much, but. I like the concept of having a Jedi with me just because um, uh, there's a lot more interesting stuff that can happen. Not interesting, but like, I don't know, it's just, I feel like it's useful. Because then I can actually make it to where they're like more of a powerhouse. Like they have force powers, but maybe they're more, um, like they're better with a uh, lightsaber, you know? Um, so, I don't know. See, like, I can give him the strength stuff. Ooh, demolitions plus four. Oh, no, that's better. Um, so he needs that, so he can get those thingies, whatever they're called. So I'm going to let him use single blade. Ooh, you're looking good, bro. Actually, he looks real cool. I like that look. Yes. Okay. All right, let's save, and then I'll call that apart. Cool. Awesome. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.